Cumpleaños feliz, cumpleaños feliz, cumpleaños, cumpleaños, cumpleaños feliz. Hey, Miss Daniel Trotta, happy 35th birthday. Um, I kind of figured out that how old you were by looking at famousbirthdays.com. It's a website where it talks about famous people, not all famous people. But this is what I've been waiting to do this whole time since I became a big fan of yours last, last year. Make you this birthday video that I'm planning. Now, normally what I usually do, because I've not done a YouTube video since um, January when I did a video like this with Katie Nolan. Um, normally what I do is I, I usually sing someone a birthday song. Uh, um, and then play a video game for them in their honor using their name instead of my name. I'm playing for them, not myself. Uh, hold on, let me, mute the, let me turn the TV down. I'm, I'm, watch, I'm watching the... Um, the Milwaukee Bucks and, and Brooklyn Nets uh, and, and Nets game on the on the Nets channel, yes, because they have the league pa NBA league pass. Um, well, with Directv. Um, uh, this is what I did for Caitlin Vinci, Amanda Mertz. Um, who else did I do it for? Miss Brent Cup, Juliana White, Brittany Wallace, who is Ken your awesome friend Kenny's daughter. Um, I did a birthday special for them where um I did um where I played a video game for them and used their name in honor of them for their birthday. I would have done that today, but the thing is, I, I really didn't have time to do it today, so if I hope you're not too upset about that. Um, just don't forget, I made you a video on here already, a fan-made video um, of me doing Live in La Vida Loca by Ricky Martin in my Tim Duncan jersey. I hope you remember that so well. But this time it's even better. I mean, this is your birthday video for this year. And what I'm here to do is um, sing you this birthday song. I, 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 wrote, I wrote you this. And, um... And after after I'm done, I'm gonna sing you an additional song, an original song, to show you what I can really do. I'm in the Mertz already saw it. Caitlin already saw it. Um, but first, before I get into anything, I'll tell you more about myself that you didn't know. Um, besides the NASCAR and the Austin Dillon and Ty Dillon stuff, as you might have figured, I love the San Antonio Spurs and Timmy Duncan, number 21. I always have since I was three years old. So 1997-98, beginning of the Tim Duncan era when Duncan was drafted. And this is how I became a fan. Um, what, <coughs> excuse me. When I was three years old in late 1997, I used to love a lot of kids shows, including some religious ones, even though I never really had a huge religious, uh, be, uh, what's it called? Huge religious belief. Um, one of them was called Duncan the Donut Man. It was about this little guy, little donut guy named Duncan, and there really an older man named, named called the Donut Man. Well, Ironically, at the same time, the Spurs had my um my dad had had a Spurs game on and while well, playing on the TV and NBC one day a Spurs home game because I'm pretty sure I remember these days when the Spurs played in the Alamo Dome and had the Fiesta colors. They kept the silver and black on the uniform, but had the Fiesta colors on the court. They had it in the logo. They had it even added into the warmups, but they never put it on the jerseys. Thankfully, uh, I'll talk about more, more in a minute. Well, I came walk in the living room one day from my playroom. I see the word Duncan on the back of a guy. I sure it was a white jersey with the word Duncan on the back of a number 21. I, and my dad's like, Mark, look, Duncan, just like Duncan the Donut Man. I, I watched the rest of the game just to figure out what, 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 I knew, I, I mean, I knew what basketball was, but I never heard of the NBA at that time. I tried to figure out what that was about. I figured out it was the San Antonio Spurs, and the guy's name was Tim Duncan. That's why I'm a Spurs fan. I love Tim Duncan. And before I describe more about my Spurs adventures and over the years and stories and experiences, there was a lot of people back in the day, even before Duncan was in, uh, was was drafted, and um even before I was even alive, that who wanted the Fiesta colors gone. Now they're gone, and now all of a sudden on, on a few Spurs posts on fa on a page on Facebook, um, there, there's been a few like make believe like hypothetical pictures of of Spurs of it, like Lamarcus Aldridge number twelve in the Fiesta colors. Now there's people in the comments saying they want them back. And I bet you they're the same damn people who wanted the Fiesta colors gone because they, you know it looked it didn't look like a menish type like a, a a man's type color for a Spurs player. You know what I mean? But yeah, um, I've met Tim Duncan before. I met him once. I'll sh I have a picture of him, of him and I on my phone. Let me see if I can get it. Yeah, someone called me. Someone called me dur uh, call during the ra during the race. So I I'll get back to them in a minute. Um, my friend Jenna called me. So I uh, I'll call her back and I'm done with this video. And I'll show you the uh, the proof that I met Tim Duncan. All right, Danielle, here it is. See that? That's me and Timmy. And I was I was like 17 in that picture. I had different glasses. I was, a, I was a sophomore in high school. Yeah, I've met Tim Duncan. 
I've also met the Fox Sports Southwest announcers, Bill Land and Sean Elliott. Bill once and Sean twice. When I met Duncan here tonight, I also met Sean Elliott too, because Fox Sports Southwest was prepared to broadcast that game on the Spin the Spurs territory. And yeah, that's another thing I wanted to tell you about. I have the NBA League Pass, as I just said, Direct Direct TV. My dad bought for me as a Christmas present in Christmas 2011. I've had it since then. And I watch the Spurs Network, Fox Sports Southwest. That's one of the channels I get, 676-1. It's with Bill Land and Sean Elliott. I, I've had them for, I've listened to them for now four years, and I'm pretty much used to hearing them. Because if I hear it in other announcers that I'm not used to, especially when San Antonio's blacked out, or if it's on national TV, like NBA TV or something like that, or yes, well, well, national NBA TV and the Spurs are the road team, the, and that means the home team now to get used. And if I listen to them, I've not heard them before. I'm like, what the fuck are you saying? Excuse the language. Like, shut up already. You don't know what you're talking about. You sound damn, so damn annoying. Yeah, I've had that happen with me, but it happened many times. The blackouts on direct TV, a friend of me, like, this is so damn frustrating. The only way we can get, I can get out of it is like, if I switch to Time Warner, there's no blackouts, period. Even if the Spurs are playing the... Playing on, on national TV on and at the same time as Fox Sports Southwest, or if um they're playing in my location, the Cleveland Cavaliers, whether it's here in Cleveland or in then San Antonio. But if I live in or if I live in San Antonio or if the NBA, I kept on TV in the NBA doing at the black, I like the NFL did. Here's proof that I met Bill Land as well. Hang on. Whoops, hang on. Whoops, damn phone. Yeah, I zoomed it in. Here it is. That's me and Bill Land on Fox from Fox Sports Southwest. Yeah, and I've also met Manu Ginobili. I've met Boris Diaw. I met Matt Bonner. I met a lot of people from the Spurs organization. I've not met Kawhi Parker and um, Pop yet, but I'm I'm pretty sure I will. I never met David Robinson yet either, but I, that's probably highly unlikely because he's not playing no more, and he's usually working in the church in San Antonio because he was a Christian. Um, Oh yeah, another thing, when you are if you're watching the Spurs with me on as basically on Fox Sports Southwest, you probably you and Kaylin will probably get a headache from 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 watching with me. Because my screaming and yelling on Fox Sports Southwest gets so loud as hell that it sounds like someone's murdering me. No, I'm just doing that just to just to just to be funny. Yeah, it sounds like someone's murdering me. I like when I'm watching on Fox Sports Southwest with Bill Land and Sean Elliott. Because that's 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 the those are the people I'm used to hearing calling Spurs games. If it's nationally televised, then sometimes it can get like that. It can get to the Fox Sports Southwest level. But normally it's not nationally televised unless um, it's NBA TV and the Spurs are home, which means Bill and Sean still get used. So therefore, I still scream at Bill. I scream when it's Bill and Sean no matter what channel it is, whether it's their channel or NBA TV is using them because the Spurs are the home team. Yeah. Um, and they play, um, I think they play Tuesday against the Clippers on Fox Sports Southwest. So my screaming will be so loud then. Oh yeah, another thing, speaking of the Spurs, you better get ready for next Monday, Danielle, because um, March 21st, 2016, um, um, I'm, going, I'm going to win the bet, and you, Caitlin, and Whitney Ward, Austin Dillon's girlfriend, you're going to lose, you're going to lose, you're going to lose, you're going to lose. I'm going to win the bet, and you guys are going to pay me at Michigan in June when we meet up. You know, I'm just having fun with you. I'm just doing it out of fun. It's the Spurs and the Hornets next Monday on Fox Sports Southwest and your Fox Sports Southeast. I hope you'll be watching after Race Hub. That was my dad texting me and my pizza was here. I will get to I will get to him in a minute. I forgot to put this damn phone on vibrate. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, you're you're going to lose the bet, Danielle. So is Caitlin and so is Whitney. And maybe so you show show Caitlin this. Like I made her a video too, like right, in December. Also, as you may have figured, I, I'm also local for Ricky Martin. No pun intended. My favorite song, as you might have figured, is Live in La Vida Loca. I can sing that song in English, Spanish, and Spanglish. I know every word to almost every song of it in Spanish. I even know two in Portuguese, including the Hercules theme going the distance called John the Hot Distancia, which is also a Spanish version of Puerto La Distancia. I know that song too in Spanish. And I also know one song that has a little French in it. Yeah, I also like Lab Rats. I like my favorite like, are Kelly Berglund, Bree Davenport, Paris Burl. I can't say her last name correctly. Hey, hey. Um, she's Skylar Storm. I also like Grace Kaufman, who played Carrie Perry. Only one episode she appeared in, and she was a little brat in that episode. Carrie Perry was not Grace Kaufman because Grace Kaufman was paid act like that. She was not like that really. But in the stories I write, she's very nice. That's another thing I wanted to tell you about. I write stories of my dreams, stuff I make up in real life, true events that happen. Depends if it's good or bad. And you've made it in a few makeup ones. Um, 
I remember a story I, I wrote for the, when you were in it for the first time last year where you, Caitlin Vinci, myself, and Katie Owen were singing She Bangs by Ricky Martin in Spanish and English, aka Spanglish. Therefore, I was singing the Spanish lyrics and you, Caitlin, and Katie Nolan were singing the English lyrics. <laughs> so, because I don't know if you know Spanish or what, but it was so, I mean, I also wrote another one where um, you and Caitlin threw me into a pool, threw me into a pool at a, ho a, a fictional hotel in North Carolina. Where Caitlin was yelling, live in love, a look at the top of her lungs, and then you followed her up by yelling, shake your bond, bond, shake your bond, bond, and throw me in the pool. Throw me in the pool. And then it fell by the NASCAR girls like Emily Kozel, who unfortunately blocked me on at Twitter, at, here, on Twi here on Twitter and, Inst and Facebook. Um, who else threw me around in the pool? I'm trying to remember. Katie Nolan threw me around. Um, Courtney Dryden threw me around. I don't think you guys can do that to me in real life because... Like, compared to you, to you ladies, I am so damn big and I probably weigh so much. Not, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm because, well, because I'm so tall and I'm so strong, nobody can pick, I don't think you got, I don't think any, any person, any person can pick me up, it's, and especially a, 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 a girl like any of you guys, because I'm a bit stronger than, and, and, you know what I mean. I mean, it's just, it's just my story using my imagination where you, like, girls like you and Keelan and Vincey can pick me up or just throw me into a pool or throw me around in a pool. Yeah. Um, here's the proof that, like, Ricky Martin, I'll show you, right, right there, that's, but that's when I went to his concert in Chicago last fall, in October 2015, yeah, who else are they, I'm trying, oh, I also, I also have a few female online idols named Amanda Cerny and Amy Marie Gardner, Amy Marie lives here in Ohio, where, by where I am, um, and I don't know which city, though, but I think, I, I remember currently my dyna, Amanda Cerny lives in California, I also like Jeopardy and Wheel of Fortune, um, I also like Victoria Justice. I also like Ariana Grande. There's a lot of stuff I like. And one more thing before I go, I get to the song. Um, I added you on Fa and Caitlin on Facebook on your private accounts. So one that says your middle names, you Daniel Christine and Caitlin's Caitlin Ann's. But you guys haven't responded yet. I don't know if you even use those accounts anyway for 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 stuff like like most like people like me do. But um. I, uh, if if you if you guys have the chance, just go ahead and accept me on the if if you if you if you if, if you wish. Um, I hope because it would mean the world to me if you and Caitlin Vince you were my Facebook friends. And not only that, I hope that you guys can follow me back on Twitter after all the good stuff I send you at Mark Oliveris two one five Mrs. Shrada. I hope you you can follow me back on Twitter. That that would make me so. I would actually make my life if you and Caitlin did that because I want you to show Caitlin this video too. And follow me back on Instagram too at Mark underscore Flex and Three. But anyway, I'm gonna sing your birthday song and then uh, another song after that, which is original. Here we go. And as you may have figured, this is to a Ricky Martin song. I'm not gonna tell you which one though. Until I'm done. Yeah, my my speakers are broken. So yeah, my speakers are here because look what happened. So they just kept pissing me off. They only kept coming out of one speaker. I tried to make it come out of both. And this is what happened. Yeah, I mean, the, speak the speakers itself are fine, but the freaking cord broke. So I got to see if I can get new ones so you can hear the music louder. Although I try to I try to cut the vocals out so that way you can hear more of me and less of Ricky when the, when the singing comes on. Yeah, I better quit paying attention to the game here. Yeah, my pizza's here. I, I, I have, I'm having Papa John's. I have Papa John's pizza as my own dinner. And my friend J Jenna called me. She's coming over the, later later this month on the 25th to watch the Spurs game on Fox Sports Southwest with me against the Grizzlies. Oh, I know the thing I wanted to let you know is. I, wait. That was just the notification on Instagram, that's all. The only thing I wanted to let you know is, I seriously hope that I get to meet you and Caitlin at Michigan in June. Also, and of course we need to, so that way when you guys lose the bet next Monday, you guys can pay me. I still have to find out what the, I mean, I still have to decide what the loser has to do. We'll figure it out next Monday. Here we go, it's a song. A fox for Chris Cubs uniform, Charlotte makes her a light. Teddy celebrating her birthday. Turning 35 years old and looking so much younger than her pretty young face and cute voice. Became a massive fan of hers last NASCAR season. After years of studying, who she actually was, 
I treat my speech at all. Earlier, just that good. And I have in your club. I think she really was. And now here I am crazy. I'm about her and Caitlin Benson. Happy 35th birthday to you, beautiful Daniel Christine. Trotta, hope you have an awesome day, Friday. And that you're enjoying the NASCAR West Coast train with a low. I want to meet your Caitlin food and low. And you should get them juice, those I love. And I'll be with my dad with a low. Yeah, I, I really want to meet you guys so, so bad. I really love you guys so much. Here's what I originally said. I didn't want to mess it up. Well, hello. I want to meet you and Caitlin so bad. Yeah, I, 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 don't, I more than want to meet you. I want to meet you guys so bad. All right, here, verse two. You and Caitlin better get ready for next Monday after NASCAR race time. San Antonio, y'all is gonna put the beat down on the city and you both will lose the bet. And pay me at Michigan, whatever we decide goes. Timmy, Tony, Manuko, Y, and Aldridge are coming for you. And I made you a phrase hub family video back in October. Regarding that bet you made with Andrew Dowd on your Panthers and his Eagles that you won very easily. Wevelo, so for beating me in this back to Velo. With my spurs in your horn, it's Gozalo. This will be more difficult for you, Wevelo. Super low, super low, super low. Subalo, 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 subalo. Where they go? Subalo, 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 subalo. Funny for you. I'll show you what I'll show you a thing that I have with, with my with my love for Ricky Martin. I'll show you what this. It's so funny. This is one of my Rick, I have Ricky Martin poses so based on the posing he does on album covers and stuff like that. And this is one of them. Oh my god, it's so funny. Okay, I'll show you another one. Yeah, I, I may not, I may not be doing them right, but I don't give two shit. This is another one. But this is my favorite one. Wait, the way it does goes into la historia, the 2001 Spanish Greatest Hits album. That's another one. Try to think of another one. I can't think of any more. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna miss. I'm gonna miss the next part of the song here. Yeah, I am local for Ricky Martin, Danielle. I am local. I, I have it since 1999 at age five when he when his fame was wild. He was younger, and he loved being a local. Was the big, big, biggest smash shit in the world. And I'm still not tired of that song. 16 years later, I mean, 16 years or 17 years. I think it's 16 years now. I don't know. I, I lost count. Right, here we go. Let's see. Right, see. I love you so much, Danielle. I do look forward to meeting you and Caitlin at Michigan in three months to give you both a big hug and get pictures with you. Web hello. I added you girls on Facebook. Sue hello. On your private accounts goes I low. Hopefully you will accept them where they low. I've always wanted a follow on Instagram and on Twitter as well. 
from you and Caitlyn. I hope that you girls can. I don't need this anymore. Gladly give it to me. Subalo. Subalo. All I knew was the Ricky Martin post on the Mevy OB bid. 1995 album. Okay, I, I had enough showing off my Ricky Martin poses to you and Danielle. Oh my god. I, you know what you should do on Race Sub on Monday though? Next, tomorrow I should say? Uh, you, sh you should actually play the video on, on, on uh, during Race Sub. Like during the so so a segment called Social Garage. Or during that, that Social Garage segment or something like that. I seriously hope you do. I always say hope you can get your producers in. Like John Morrison them do, um, to play it for it. Play it, play it, play it, play it on Race Sub. Try talking to John Morris and everybody at Race Zone, uh, yeah, like the producers and stuff like that, see what they can do. There you go, there's your song. They haven't missed a try to, that's your birthday song for this year. I have Caitlin's with me too, so when I, got you, when I see you at Michigan in June, um, I'll give them both to you. Um, so before I go, I'll sing you, I'll sing you one last song, but it's not, it's, it's going to be an original. Here's one of the Portuguese Ricky Martin songs that I know. Yeah, that's the game going on. The, the, the Nets game on the, on the Nets channel against the Bucks. We just gotta ignore that. Alright, here we go. This is really good. You'll be impressed with this. This is the Hercules theme called Go the Distance. It's Ricky Martin's version in Portuguese called John Johan Distancia. Amanda Mertz has already seen this before. And just don't forget, show this to Caitlin too. Show this to everybody on, uh, you work with on Race Sub. I'm so me. Vejo um lugar. Um lugar em que posso sempre. Te amar, sei que estás aí, que te contarei. Sei que nesta vida, a teu lado viverei. Eu te amarei, já não há distância, seguirei assim. Sempre com fervor Que eu dou passo a mais Valerá demais Nessa minha busca Sempre pelo seu amor Try to do this if you'd like quando eu te vi a primeira vez Parecia um sonho, a razão eu perdi E no seu olhar eu vi emoção Era um sentimento Vinho do seu coração Eu te amarei Já não há distância Seguirei assim Sempre com fé eu vou Que eu não posso mais Valerá demais Nesta minha busca Sempre pelo seu amor Conquistar entrou tão bem Que eu trajo a pura emoção Sou um amor virado o coração I'll show you one more Ricky Martin pose. This is from Web. This song originally came from Web, the Spanish version, the 1998 album. So this song was 1997. This is what he does on the front cover of Web. Even though I can't do it right, and I don't try to do it the wrong way. 
Yeah, I can't do this correctly. Give it one more time. That's your birthday video for this year, your 35th birthday video. I've been a, I have loved Ricky and Martin for so long. 99, 2001, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. No, yeah, this is my 17th year. I, now I remember. This is actually my 17th year in a row being a Ricky Martin fan. Jamming since 1999, as I call it. Just don't forget, whenever, like, like for, for example, you, Caitlin, and a few other NASCAR girls like Juliana White and I are... Or Whitney Ward and Candace Harvin are, are, are in fair North Carolina for the Charlotte Race Week, our Charlotte Race Week, or something like that for the Coke 600. So if you're if at a place like that and you hear and 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 you and Ricky Martin comes on and you're with me, watch out because I will go crazy, especially when they play the deadliest we uh, weapon of all: Live it, la vida loca, la 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 la. So before I go, I just want to let you know, um, uh. I hope that you and Kaylin are nice enough to accept my friend request on Facebook from your private account, Danielle Christine and Caitlin Ann. Just be sure to show her the vid because um, my profile picture is a ghost spurs go with my friend Macy. It's a girl in red shirt and me in a black spurs hoodie. hoodie. And, and on, the, on the bottom is a, is a black line that has hashtag ghost spurs go and a spur. And my header is Tim Duncan. Be sure to let Caitlin know. Also, be sure to also if you want, if you guys want, follow me back on Twitter at Mark Alvarez two one five, and on Instagram, follow me back at, at Mark underscore Flex and three. But and one last thing, next Monday, I mean we're always going to be friends in NASCAR, no matter what. But next Monday, oh uh, well, because I'm adding Whitney Ward to this mix. Game on, Danielle. Game on. Spurs, your horn is versus my Spurs. And you're going to lose the bet. So is Kaylin, and so is Whitney. Go Spurs, go. You know, I'm just messing with you. Happy birthday, Danielle. Love you. Hope to see you in June.